I am Paolo Sironi. I am thought leader for IBM, investment analytics for wealth management. And I'm author of books in quantitative finance and recently on fintech innovation. After my formative years, uh, I've been uh, a risk manager for uh, 12 years uh, in uh, the banking industry, taking care of uh, economic capital and uh, trading books. And then I decided to create a new company that was a fintech experience in 2008 to create innovation in the world of uh, the wealth management space. And recently I became thought leader at IBM, feeling the beat of innovation everywhere in the world, talking to our network of clients and interpreting the evolving needs of the clientele as well as the amazing experiences of the fintech stage in a way to craft a strategic idea of the fintech innovation inside the world management space. This new book, Fintech Innovation, is about the theory of innovation in wealth management, which is a disruptive innovation and sustaining innovation. And the two are not antithetic, but they need one the other. Disruptive innovation is a way of damping a market to come up with products or services which are cheaper, easier to use, so that investors find the solution that they don't think of valuable before, or one can capture new customers that were not there initially. But that creates consequences because typically solutions are very cheap and therefore the margins for the new coming industry are not that great. Sustaining innovation, therefore, is the way out of disruption that enables new ideas to become profitable in the long run. That means that industries are capable of providing higher margin services to the customers and engage them into a new experience so that they are both gaining from the relationship clients with better products and industry makers with higher margins. The subtitle of the book, FinTech Innovation, is From Robot Advisors to Goal-Based Investing and Gamification. What is important in the FinTech world is that we need to innovate on the financial side and the technological side. Robot advisors are representing mostly the technical part of the innovation, so automated investment services. But they need to be coupled with innovation in finance, therefore goal-based investing, to make sure that they can move from disruptive innovation into long-term sustaining innovation. Gamification is the element that permits to link the two, the technical advances and the financial advances with an engagement mechanism on a digital platform that enables individuals to understand the new concepts and the value of the new offers of the world management industry in 2020. The book starts from the many conversations that I had the chance of having with the market participants across 20 years of professional experience in my life. And it looks at the way the wealth management industry is changing these days from a packaging mechanism of products into packaging of advice. The two things are not the same and it's very difficult for the industry participants to move from one setup into the other mindset. For two reasons. First of all, because all of the advisors and the bankers have been taught to themselves for 70 years of selling products by discussing the opportunities in the marketplace coming from research, equity analysis, market news, in essence, trading irrationality and exuberance. On the other side, the clients themselves have been used for 70 years to buy the dream of making money by investing in the financial securities. Now, it is time that that changes and goes around the needs of the individuals to invest and therefore crafting the right level of ambitions and therefore the right level of goals that individuals need to have in between essential goals and aspirational goals in a way that the investment experience becomes less exuberant and more thought through. Two years ago, I published my first book with Rizbox titled Probabilistic Scenario Optimization, which is uh, the innovation in quant finance behind the goal-based investing principle. This year, I've been co-author of the FinTech book, the first crowdsourced book in the history of the FinTech, a fantastic experience that they got together hundreds of uh, individuals and professionals around the globe to contribute with articles and ideas.
the well management industry sits on the epicenter of tectonic fault, uh, which is tearing it apart uh, with the epochal changes. On one side of this fault, uh, customers are modifying their behavior due to generational shift, as well as the capability that the ubiquitous internet is granting them to engage on social media when and where. On the other side of the fault, the industry is changing as well because of the regulation and the consequences of the global financial crisis. Fiduciary standards have been raised more and more around the world in all of the constituencies. The provision of ethical and added value financial advice requires well management to be capable of helping individuals to understand their relationship between their personal ambitions on one side and the risks that they undertake their financial investments on the other side. Personal ambitions are goals that people express in their life, and these goals are also changing according to individual age, as well as a modification of personal and market conditions. The first robo advisors appeared in the US between 2008 and 2010 to provide investment solutions fully automated and convenient to a large number of final consumers, but then started evolving into robo for advisors that means uh, an hybrid model where human advisors use robot advisors at automated investment services and save time in order to talk to their customers and have a better understanding of their needs and therefore come up with a better advice in terms of building portfolios that make sense for sure as long as the long term. We also see nowadays uh, that the robot for advisors and robot advisors are turning into robots as a service to help financial institutions to transform themselves and to become more digitally automated. But this is not the end of the story, because this is just a part of the disruptive innovation. The industry needs to raise its standards in terms of the quality of the advice it provides to the final consumers. The most compelling need that everybody has in our society is retirement. We all know that the population is aging and baby boomers are about to retire. This is creating a humongous need for the individuals to receive advice about how to make sure to fulfill their needs in the golden days. But they cannot be given only by human advice because it would be too expensive to provide it. And that's when the robot advisors and human advisors can team up together to come up with what we could call the robot retirement. My book is very narrative, it wants to explain what is a robot advisor, what is goal-based investing, and how gamification can put the two things together. It can be found on Amazon or Willy website, and it appeals to a larger population of readers. First of all, professionals in the world management industry, head of advisors, head of marketing retail, head of digital banking, head of innovation. They all need to understand the rationale behind the changes which are occurring in the marketplace, in regulation, and on the behavior of individuals. It also appeals to the individual financial advisors, which are looking for ideas and solutions to provide added value to their respective customers. It appeals to people working in technology that need to interpret the changes which are occurring in the marketplace, as well as need to understand the needs of the business people to provide them with the right solution. And at the very end, it appeals to each and every one of us, the family of the financial investors, the taxable investors, we are demanding to receive a better advice from our world managers, and we need to know what we can ask for.